Colonel, as you know, in the case of our mystery celebrity, we dispense with all the preliminaries and get right down to the general questioning, which we will begin with Mr. Bennett Sir. Goodness, I, I thought only Julius LaRosa would get a hand like that. <laughs> Have you got something to do with the entertainment business? Oh, sure. <laughs> Can't even determine the sex. Uh, would you ever have appeared in a motion picture? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, would that have been, could you have been in a picture within the past year? I still don't know whether it's a, a male or a female. <laughs> I, I'm going to take a, a wild chance. Are you a female? What <laughs> <laughs> taking you so long? <laughs> We're in fun. Well, what question? <laughs> Why, sure, I should say so. You, you are. Uh, well, what else? <laughs> Would you describe yourself as a star of the first magnitude? I would so describe her. I'm glad you do it. You're right. I'm glad to do it. Well, have you, have you ever made any pictures for the uh, Metro Goldwyn Mayer studio? I had a chance to. I, I didn't quite hear that. Oh, yeah, I had a chance to. <laughs> <laughs> Advantage of the chance. Sir. <laughs> yeah, I took advantage of it. Did you? Could you be any by any chance be a lady who played in uh, an English school story at one time, where there was a teacher who went by the name of Mr. Chips? Well, yeah, I seem to remember something of that sort. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to, I, I hate to pick this right off. I pass. Oh, Ben. Well, <laughs> all right, Miss Gilgallan. Well, I, I can hardly fail to get Bennett's clue. Um, do, uh, have we detected a slight trace of British accent in that carefully camouflaged voice? Oh, darling, I tried so hard. I bought all time on my accent. Uh, have you a, a characteristic that is particularly glorious in technicolor that cannot be seen on black and white video sets? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Are you Greer Garson? Greer Garson is right. <laughs> Miss Greer, all I've got to say is we haven't had us find an accident accent rather here for a long, long time, and it didn't seem to have been good. But how I'm afraid they're all much too clever. Oh, I just saw you on Ed Sullivan's show. <laughs> oh, isn't that awful? I've yeah. been robbed. I've been robbed. And I met Dorothy in the back room at Steel Chapman's. We were both after the same dress. And I knew I was doomed from there. <laughs> <laughs> well, how nice of you to be in New York so that you could be with us. Well, well thank you. Well, you. What are you here for? Are you going back home? Or? Well, the studio has given me a rather strange assignment. For the time being, I'm not an actress exactly. I'm a press agent extraordinary. At least I'm just a press agent, let's say, for Julius Caesar. I'm going to make desperately informal talks in British universities. I consider this a safari much more dangerous than anything they undertook in Mogambo, because students are much more savage than any kind of gorilla, I understand. <laughs> but I just, uh, I just like to think of how much more of Shakespeare I would have absorbed if they'd just let you lecture to me. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much Thank for you. coming to see Goodbye. us. Nice Thank to see you, you on one time.